Hello and welcome to the beer room, uh, Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spits Reviews. Tonight, this is the final pre-video for the Robin Hood Beer Festival. So, I thought I would pick out the top 30 or so beers uh, that, you know, interest me. And uh, I've got to say, the people who, who, who run the event, fantastic, you know. The amount of organisation that's got to go into it, you know, to get all these beers and ciders and gins, because there will be gins there, uh, I would think Prosecco and obviously entertainment, you know, it's a big uh, event and uh, certainly a great event for the Nottingham calendar and especially for beer enthusiasts, you know, the, the variety that's coming to Nottingham and local breweries i've never even heard of you know it's fantastic whether these are actual people brewing uh maybe maybe I, in years to come i'll brew some beers but anyway i've picked out beers that really stroke my um interest levels so from bar a number 23 bring out the imp 10.5 percent um strength beer an imperial stout aged in red wine casks wow the flavor from the red wine cask going through the imperial stout you know uh, i wouldn't advise drinking the half a pint but uh, a third probably better but yeah very interesting also from bar a number 47 zingiba which is a 5.5 percent and it's a real ginger beer with root ginger and red chilies that also sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm a massive ginger beer fan. Always have been. And uh, so sad that the likes of Krabby's Black disappeared from the market. So, didn't see anything on bar B that I really liked. So, from bar C, uh, number 150, rhubarb and custard, 4.4%. Pink in colour with rhubarb and vanilla. That sounds lovely. From the Nano Bar. On reserve, Diabolito export stout at 7.3%. An export stout hints of almond, cherry and hibiscus. Sounds delicious. So, next one on the list, Bar D. Quite a few in Bar D, to be fair. Number 282, Caramel Stout, 4.8%. A dark brew, chocolate caramel flavours, rich and sweet. 322, Thick as Pudding. And this is a 5.2% and it's a raspberry rice pudding porter. That sounds lovely. Number 333, pumped keef at 6%. A pumpkin ale. Sounds great. At number 371, a cherry and vanilla Atlas Stout, 4.2%. Dry stout, cherry and vanilla flavours, baked well tart in a glass. Can't wait to try that. Number 372 from the same brewery. Cherry Phoenix, 4.5%. A cherry flavoured Ruby Mild. Mm. Same brewery again. I can't remember the brewery's name. I do apologise. 3.7... Fr number 373. Christmas, 5.4%. A winter ale with four Christmas spices. Oh, and I love Christmas, so anything Christmas is going to go down well. From Lincoln Green... 378 Buttermuch, the only butterscotch beer. God, totally gobsmacked by that. I'm surprised someone hasn't made an Harry Potter style lick, uh, butterscotch alcoholic beer. 5.5% dark ale with butterscotch essence. I've had a keg of this before um, last Christmas, I think, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, nine pints. Oh, went down a tree. Ooh. Number 381 from Lincoln Green again. Joseph Keller, 4.8% chocolate cherry stout with a hint of bitter chocolate. Again, sounds lovely. So from bar E, all I've got is a number. 455 is the number. Meant for 5% and it's a mint chocolate milk stout. Sounds delicious. From bar F, um... Number 651, Triple XK Vintage Ale, 
an English barley wine, rich fruits, spice and Seville orange hints. Can't wait to try that. Now from the key keg bar, actually quite a few brews that I, I like from there. Number four, Ruby Weiss, 5%. It's a rhubarb, hefeweizen, notes of clove, banana and vanilla. Number 19, Raspberry Carinade, 5.5%. A raspberry cream ale made with Scottish raspberries. Number 32, Raised. This is a 9.6%. It's a big barley wine, toffee and caramel notes. Number 33, The Last Redoubt. 7.7% is a chocolate stout aged on freshly roasted Peruvian cacao. Number 36, Temptation 10%, a rich imperial Russian stout. One of my favourites from the whole festival so far, number 50, Interstellar Hyperdrive. It's a 12% beer, we are talking, wow. Rum and Raisin Imperial Porter, uses raisin soaked in rum. I just hope to God it's around on Friday when I get there. Number 59, Never Forget Your Amethyst, a 9.2% Turkish Delight and Mint Chocolate Imperial Milk Stout. Sounds absolutely divine. Number 71, Raspberry Sun, 5.2%. It's a raspberry fruit beer with locally sourced raspberries. Not many fruit beers in this um, beer festival. Number 84, Deep Water, 10.5%. Notice that there's quite a few strong ones. A barrel-aged imperial stout, whiskey barrels, packs a punch. So, from the brewery bars in the main area, uh, Thornbridge Brewery, Strawberry Lucaria, 4.5%, a strawberry ice cream porter. That sounds, sounds lovely. Totally Brewed uh, Brewery in Nottingham. Have you seen a man eat his own head? An 8.2% vegan Chocolate Raisin and Tonka Bean Porter and on reserve from the same brewery a Peanut Butter Stout at 7% also vegan so can't wait for that Blue Monkey Brewery or another Nottingham Brewery Blue Bard and Custard 4.8% a pale wheat beer using fresh rhubarb and added vanilla Chimperial Stout 8.5% a complex multi-imperial black stout one I really want to try this year. Vintage Champagne, 11%. A very strong pale ale fermented with champagne yeast. Woody Bourbon, 6.7%. A gorilla style aged in a Jack Daniels wooden barrel. So from the brewery bars in Bolero Square, which is basically outside. You know, they're going to be a bit cool next week. <laughs> <coughs> From the Castle Rock uh, Brewery tent, on a reserve, Dry Hop Barley Wine, 10.5%. It's, it's a vegan, it's also a key keg. Juicy mango, apricot and Madeira cake, cake flavours. Mint Choc Chip, another one that I really want to try. 4.5%, it's a key keg and it's a cacao nibs, chocolate, mint and vanilla for mint choc flavours. Wow. From the Navigation Brewery, a Nottingham Brewery, one I definitely want to have a go at. Spiced a pumpkin, an amber fruit beer brewed with cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg. That sounds awesome. I do love pumpkin spice. I've got both the pumpkin spice liqueurs from um, the Baileys one and the Aldi one. And oh, so lovely. But in a beer as well. Ooh, can't wait. Sweet Home Alabama. So, uh, from navigation again 7.9 percent a bourbon and raisin infused brown ale festival special so from the brewery bars in the backstage village and the the first brewery is magpie not another nottingham brewery in from the meadows eight for a wish 4.2 percent vegan beer a pumpkin spiced dark amber again can't wait to try it Ginger beer, 5%. Vegan, gluten free. A festival exclusive. A fiery warming ginger beer. Can't wait to try that. Imperial 
Rum and vanilla raven stout, 8.5% vegan. Imperial version of raisin stout with added vanilla and rum. Again, oof. And the very last beer on my lists from the Fun Fair Brewery at Elston Knotts, Frowner. 5.1% vegan, gluten free beer, traditional ginger beer, green in colour with a twist of lime. So, some amazing beers on that list. I'll be saving that because um, when I go next Friday, a week today, um, I'm going with uh, Simon, a good workmate from old Sainsbury's days, and uh, someone who knows his beers as well. And hopefully, we'll see some people down there. I'm going to take the video and try and do a few reviews if I feel comfortable if I don't feel comfortable I won't but I might do some mini beer reviews while I'm down there um, I can talk rubbish about a few beers you know and uh, if I don't feel too daft but I might take some footage of the beer festival as well which is you know just to show people what the beer festival is you know and uh, go from there anyway thanks for watching if anybody has any beers that they've seen that they like, please comment, you know, and uh, please share these videos and subscribe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see you soon.